Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. Today we are moving on with Spyro the Dragon. We're about 50% through the game, and now we're moving on to the fourth overworld of the game. Before we do, a lot of you have given me some excellent feedback. Some of you have said you wanted me to keep the map off, but even more said you wanted to keep the map on. So I am gonna keep it on just because the people who wanted it on did give a good reason. Some of them are pretty new with the game and they just don't know where I am in the level because of how Spyro works. It can sort of be hard to keep track, so I totally get it. I'm gonna keep it on. I personally probably won't be using it too much, but yeah, lots of you guys gave some awesome advice. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. You're welcome, Tuco. Hop aboard for the Beast Maker's world if you're ready. Sure, we are. So we're going to the Beast Maker's world, which sounds <laughs> a bit more intimidating, but I'm sure we'll do just fine. But yeah, that was awesome for you guys. Let me know that. Some of you also let me know a little bit of other advice as well, like with the the sheep or any other kind of animal that you blast for butterflies, every 10 butterflies you get, one of them is a blue butterfly that gives you an extra life. Apparently that's something from Spyro 2 or 3 that they just brought back to this game, which I think is a pretty cool idea. It helps for people maybe not the most experienced with the game. And then apparently if I press the L3 button, which is the left analog stick, if I press that down, I should, like Spark should tell me where some treasure might be, which is actually a pretty interesting idea. So I will definitely keep all that in mind as we land into the Beast Maker's world, which I remember this world, I know I've said this for like every world, being quite difficult. There's just quite a lot going on here. I think some people argue the hardest level of the game is in Beast Maker's, but there's lots to explore, a lot to enjoy. I do love the look of it so far in the remake. Really pretty. But yeah, there's these guys who are just like rocking out. They have like little electrical panels that if you stand out on the wrong time, you're you are sure to get zapped, so I'm trying to be super duper careful here. So this guy right here, um, there he goes. Oh, he electrocutes himself too. He just doesn't seem to mind very much, which is funny. Okay, whoa, boy. Hold on, hold on. Got it, nice. So, oh, hey, look, our first dragon. Who is this? This is Bruno. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. <sighs> And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Oh, he seems so sympathetic there. That was our 47th dragon coming up on 50 now, which is pretty cool. And there's some treasure behind this first level, which will be the first level we tackle today. Once we uh, head into it after this overworld, it is the Terrace Village. I think that's the first level. We haven't passed anything else. Ow, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yikes. <laughs> that was fireworks. I thought it was a treasure chest. Whoopsies. Well, we get some gems for that. How many gems in total are we looking for? There's a giant boar chasing me right now. Watch out! Ow! Man, everything's beat me up. That's not fair. I lost some health for getting knocked by him, and then I lose more health by getting, like, falling into the water. Okay, well, as you can see, it really is a bit more difficult, so let's get back to it. Luckily, there's a checkpoint not so far away, because we just got that dragon, but I'm gonna show you who's boss. Boom! <laughs> not happening this time. But lots of you did say you want me to check out all of the different skill points, even the ones I may have missed, so I will keep that in mind. I might end up doing that after I finish the main game. I'll probably just have like one extra bonus episode or something like that where we get all of the skill points before we move on to Spyro 2. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out another dragon. This is Cletus. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. All right, see you, Cletus. Okay, so I do remember this. There's a little hut. There are some gems behind this. Is there an... Yeah, there's, some, there's a boar here. Tries to see, sneak up on you. Not gonna happen, sir. Not gonna happen. What about inside of here? Uh, ooh, yeah, there's some stuff. Got it. And I think one of these little wells is actually some, oh, like a room you can jump into. Some of them are just like there's water in it. But yeah, it looks like this one actually does. Whoop. Oh, it has a level in it. Oh, this is the flight level. Like I said before, some of the flight levels are very well hidden. I feel like this is one of them. Okay, so I got some of that. We're gonna go back this way. We're already halfway through with all the gems. So we're making some pretty good progress. Okay, so let's head this way. Passing Misty f misty Bog, not Misty Fog. Oh, there's more stuff on this for sure. One, one thing that does make it a little bit harder in this game is that the grass actually is grass. You know, it's not just like a flat green piece of land. And because of that, some of the gems are a little bit hidden. I honestly think that they can be a tad bit more difficult to find. I mean, if you just, you know, sort of search every 
little area. You should find everything eventually. You just sort of have to have that muscle memory, and since I've already played this game a couple times in the past, I sort of do. Oh, there's treetops. Oh, that's the tough one. I remember it. That's gonna be a tough one for sure, so we will keep that in mind. There's just like some ways to explore the level that are very odd, but hey, we'll be doing that later in today's episode. So I wanna destroy those guys as much as I can, even if I do have full health, because I could end up getting even more with a extra life, so that's always good. Speaking of extra life, we got one right there. Back up to 20 lives after dying. Oh, got a chest. Okay, so this one does have water in it, so we gotta be careful. And let us try charging through this stuff. Got it. And is there anything we can go this way? I don't think so. I'm having so much fun with this game though. It's been hard for me to decide if I'm having more fun with this or with Crash. I think I have fun with both of them though. I don't know why I have to compare and contrast all the time. Gotta be careful with these guys though. You gotta time it just right. And as we've learned in previous episodes, I'm not always the best with timing. Oh gosh, that one was almost bad. Okay, grab some of this stuff as well. Lots of gems just strewn about. Trying to grab them however we can. Oh, we got this guy over here, got him. Any of those blue? I don't think so. And there's uh, this guy. I just want his gem for now. I feel so sorry for all the dragons still trapped in crystal. Oh. Maybe once you've rescued 50 dragons, I'll feel a little better. I didn't know I could talk to these guys before heading off. Cool. Well, hopefully. Oh, I get it. He's saying that we can't move to the next area until we save 50 dragons. That's the idea. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting. I knew that there was a limit, I just never really have checked before because I always just get all the dragons, because why wouldn't you? You gotta save all the dragons. Hmm. See, so yeah, we've already, this down here is already the beginning of the level, so let's try not to fall off or off to go all the way around again. I'm looking around for whatever gems we might be able to get. It looks like there is the key over that way, so we should probably just climb up this temple a little bit more. Guess there wasn't really much on this level. Just trying to make extra sure I don't miss nothing, because I'd rather not. Oh, okay, thought we were just gonna be able to charge through that thing. The unstoppable power of mushrooms. Okay, so, don't think we can get to that log, but we can definitely get to these few of them, so let's go for it. Oh no, no, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, this is easy. Boom, got the key, got five more gems, and then, oh boy, got it. Oh, that was close, that was really close. Get over to this one, oh, okay. Oh, really close. So let's go ahead and cash in our key. Hopefully that's everything? I'm not sure. Ooh, there was a couple of yellows in there, so it's looking like it. Yeah, 300 out of 300, very nice. So we can charge all the way back to the beginning. We have our level 100% complete, so we can move on to some of the, oh no. Oh my, got it, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Move back to whatever the earliest level was, which was over this way. Okay, so this, oh gosh, is the Terrace Village, let's get started. I don't remember this one by name, but hopefully as we hop into it, we can figure it out together. Flying around. <laughs> so we almost have 6,000 gems already, which is, there's 12,000 gems in the game. Or at least, yeah, mostly. You'll have to wait and see if that's actually the case. Or is it 14,000? Uh, but I guess we're sort of at the halfway point. The thing is, is that later on, the levels end up having a lot more gems, like five or 600 as far as I remember. So that's why it seems like even though we're more than 50% through the game, according, according to the percentage, we still have half the amount of gems to go. Anyways, oh look, there's a blue one. Nice, we're over 21 lives. Wow, that's a big map. Once again, I won't be looking at it too much. But it's still pretty cool to see. One thing I've noticed is, oh, what is this? No skydiving. I'm guessing because we can't glide off that way. Was that in the original game? Huh. I'm sort of curious to try, but I just got 21 lives. No, wait, wait, wait. I didn't even, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even, but Sparks was still alive. Why couldn't I have just hopped out? <laughs> that was baloney. Well, there goes my 21st life. Oh, well. Yeah, what was I saying? I was saying that these enemies, something about them, like it always reminds me of Ratchet and Clank, their animations and stuff. They just feel like Ratchet and Clank enemies, which is really cool. I wish that we could see more HD Ratchet and Clank like we did with the movie game. That was always really cool. Like I wanna see more of that. What is with this guy? Okay, so I think I have to charge him when he's taunting at me. Okay, they're just like in these weird little tanks, but I'm getting them. We're taking care of them. How many gems we got? We have 400 of them. Starting, there's some up here. Well, at least some more of the secret ones. Yeah, this place is pretty twisty turning. We're gonna try to make sure that we do our best to find everything. Yeah, I wanna try, first off, let me get rid of these enemies. Oh, they're beating up chickens. Oh, how rude. 
I mean, I know we beat up chickens too, but we do it for the greater good. You guys are just mean. So yeah, like if we do sparks. Oh yeah, he just goes a little, oh that's so cool, I love that. I don't know if he ever did that in the original game. Where would he go now? He just sort of points. So if like I'm looking this way, he's gonna point you towards the direction of the gems. That is super cool. I will gladly use that later on. I'm supposed to charge these. Oh, hey, whoa, boom. No, ow, see, he electrocuted me. That's bad. There's a lot of enemies around here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I saw the purple guy behind him. My first instinct was to charge him, but or to flame him. There was a guy in front of him. It's just total mess. And there's a lot going on in this level. Lots of enemies and everything. Got him, got him, good. Okay, watch out. Oh, that got me. Oh, I'm down to, down to no health. So this is a bit risky now. I don't think I missed out on too many chickens. Like there's one, I'm sorry chicken, but I had to. I had to. Oh, and I missed out on a bunch of stuff over this way. Just sort of caught up in the heat of everything. I missed out. Okay, going back this way. <laughs> These mouths look really funny. Like, ah, I'm on fire. I ate a spicy taco. Nothing over this way. Okay, gotcha, just these two. But yeah, I'm excited to explore some of these levels. The aesthetic of this world isn't my favorite. I'm, I don't know, I just don't really like murky levels, I guess, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Got it, okay. Going back up this way, it looks like we have ourselves another chicken and a dragon to save. The first one of this level, it's Claude. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Yeah, I've noticed, we already got stung a couple of times. Okay, so this guy, they really do like rock out in their little thing. And it's a guitar. Okay, we'll, we'll get this guy first so we can't electrocute the panel, because I ow, don't think these guys can, but they do have incredible reach. Okay, got it, and boom. He's gotta like sort of rush in and take care of a bunch of enemies all at once, because if not, they're gonna get you when you're not looking. Oh, are these both? They're not key chests, I think we need to explode them with something. Yeah, I think there might be fireworks later on. Hmm, then we might wanna go this way first. Yeah, there usually is at least, oh, here's one of them. Okay, hey, 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 stop. <laughs> there usually is at least one or two gems I miss out on, the, on in this level, it can get a little bit confusing. I think I remember where they are though. But you, you can see the firework here just blasted this chest that was here before. Okay, go, 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 got him, and then, Boom, boom, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop, there we go, awesome. Turn back around, deal with this dude. Oh, he really got me there? Okay, if you say so. Jeez, lots of action. Hmm, I did miss some gems along the way just because I was panicking, to be honest with you. Nothing this way, okay. You always gotta look off every ledge because you never know where you might be able to glide to victory. Okay, so I don't think there's too much going on over here with any of this, so we're good to keep moving. And we have another dragon. Hi, Mr. Dragon. What is your name? It's Cyprin. I think I pronounced that right. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. <laughs> That's super cute. And apparently another thing that I haven't mentioned that you guys mentioned to me was apparently the voice actor for Spyro 1 is different than Spyro 2 and 3 like in the original PS1 games. And apparently that's also the case here because I think the voice actor for Spyro 2 and 3 is the same voice actor for SpongeBob, oddly enough. Pretty cool though, I like it. There we go, oh, got those two. But I'm not really too familiar with those games, so, so we'll see how they sound together. Oh, I thought those guys were the guys I was trying to take out, but it was behind them. Yeah, there's a lot of little things. I think it'll be good to take care of the enemies. Oh, I hope this was timed well. It was just barely awesome. Trying to take care of all the enemies first and then I'll sort of worry about re-exploring later so I st stop taking accidental damage. Cause there's some guys down this way as well. Oh no, oh no, badly timed. Oh, oh, you can land on the little side of it, cool. And now I'm down here to take care of you, to take care of you, ow. Oh, that is such a pain. Got him, great. Okay, get some health with that one. Keep moving, keep moving. Boom. And then we got this guy. <laughs> I think that's all the enemies. Yeah, I think too, that's, that might actually be every level enemy in the level, so we only need less than 50 gems, but it's those last couple in this level that can be real tough. Like there's a one right over here just chilling out. Gotta make sure we get that. Okay, let's go back up. 
Okay, so Fairy gave us a checkpoint, which is good. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff over this way. Like this, I missed. I don't even know how you get back. Oh, you gotta go back the way we just came. Okay, that was still worth doing now, for sure, because if not, we would have been looking everywhere for those. Because I think that panel that we got to that we almost got electrocuted by, but then we fell off, I think that is where the end of the level is. So if we could deal with everything else first, that'd be perfect. But I don't think there's really too much from here. But I do remember there being one tricky spot to this level in the original game. And I'll explain why once we get there. I think we're about to, if we glide to this spot instead. There is a platform right here. This platform is sort of the same color as the rest of the mountain in the original game. And because of that, it is super easy not even to see it. I remember looking everywhere for it, and then I finally found it. I was like, oh, yeah, right here. So we're looking for some fireworks as well, because we need to explode one last chest, I think. Maybe, that might, might be over there. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so what I think I gotta do is I gotta glide like this, and there should be, yep, something to land on. Some of this is just memory, because you know what, it's way easier to remember it if you've been stuck on it for a while. Actually, is there a way? Huh, there is a little thing down here so you can hop back up. Maybe there's more than one way to get to this platform. Maybe from the bridge if you were to glide enough, I don't know, weird. Anyways, we don't have to worry about it too much. We can just grab that, grab some of this stuff. Hold on, there we go. And there's another chest over that way. But more importantly, a firework, which should explode that one. Let's watch it go. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, that's cool. Moving over this way. Got two more things. I thought it was 300. No, I guess it's 400. Never mind, I was wrong before. This one's going. Awesome. <laughs> So I guess we'll get to that one first, because I don't know how else to get to it from, except from where we were standing. And we'll go and get this one. And then there should be a couple left waiting for us at the very end of the level, so hopefully that will be enough to complete it. Get ourselves 41 more gems maybe, I don't know. There might be some stuff we're missing, so. I'll look around, that's for sure, but <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, so let's get back this way. Whoa, whoa, no, Spyro! All right, so we're back. I unfortunately died. I sort of accidentally jumped into the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and boom, blast you. And then it looks like there's a good chunk of stuff. Oh, skill point acquired, what was that? Yeah, what did I do? <laughs> Hold on, skill points. What level are we on? We are on Terrace Village. No electric floor damage. I definitely got some electric floor damage, so I don't know what that was talking about. Maybe because of the checkpoint? Oh, we're missing one of them. Okay, let's have Sparks help us out. He's saying it's this way. Down that way? All right. Oh, there it is! Thank you so much, Sparks. I would have been looking forever for that. It's just hidden in the grass. That is awesome. So huge tip, like I said before, press in the left analog stick so that Sparks can uh, look for the gems. Thank you to everybody who recommended that. I would have never figured that out myself. Never, ever. So I'm glad to have had that piece of advice. And I'm happy to extend it onto people who don't know it already. Okay, so let's get back over this way. Awesome, oh, I wanna look at the sky before we leave, cause it's beautiful. Sometimes I wish they sort of added more to the distance, cause it's just fun to look out, you know? I mean, I guess we're really high up in the sky, cause that looks like a top of a mountain over that way. All right, let's go, return home. I think we're good to do that. Yeah, we have everything. All right, let's go, return home, I hope. I think it said level 100% complete, right? Maybe I missed something. We'll find out when we get back out because when we leave level and go back to the overworld, it'll usually say 100% complete, right? Or is that referring to the overworld? Who knows? <laughs> I guess we'll find out together, but we're over 6,000 gems now, so now we're truly halfway through all the gems. All right, so it looks like we did get Terrace Village 100% completed, that is awesome, which means we can make our way over to the next level, which is right over yonder. This is sort of a tiny overworld compared to some of the other ones. Come on, that was baloney, get out of here. You're such, such a rude dude, come on. I pressed the button to flame him, it didn't work. Ah, oh, Spyro, this is all my fault. I don't know why I'm blaming Spyro. He's gotta play better. <laughs> that was so unnecessary, I just wanted to get to the next level. These guys are beating me up. All right, oh, there's another blue butterfly though. Getting my life back for that, luckily enough. Okay, let's get back to it. Oh, I gotta take care of all these guys again. Get out of here. You two, don't you dare even start electrocuting that thing. Okay, let's move over to this one. Got it, and buddy, 
What do you think you're doing? Nothing, that's what you're doing. And you do. <laughs> Before you can even start charging at me. Okay, going into Nasty Bog. What do we got going on with this one? But yeah, the overworld feels a lot smaller. All the levels are a lot closer together as well, so I don't know, lots of stuff going on with that. Let's see how well we do in this level. Next level is the difficult one. I mean, not to say that this one will be easy, but so far we're doing okay. I mean, the previous level was, there was, there was some tough spots with it, but we were able to figure it out just fine. Let's go. We'll find out together. I actually, you know what? I might remember this one, but I might be getting it mixed up with another one. Uh, I don't think so. Ooh, this level is tough. There is definitely some tough spots of it. And oh, hey, get out of here. It was trying to catch me, look at this. Uh, maybe it wasn't me, maybe it was like with the little bunny or something. Get it out of here. Leave them alone, what do they do to you? It was creepy waiting back there though. This level is pretty cool looking though. Gotta say out of all the swamp boggy levels, this one's pretty good. Oh, these guys are creepy. This is one of the few guys I sort of don't want to see in HD. They sort of did an okay job of making them not look hideous though. I mean, they're hideous, but they're not like nightmare inducing, you know? Is there anything behind this wall? I know that some of these walls have some secrets to them. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to hop onto this wall. I feel like I can in the original game, but I can here, so who cares? Oh, these little guys, I remember them. No, 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 oh, they're so tough too. Because they're just so hard to hit because they're so small. That's sort of the thing about Spyro, is usually he is the smallest guy in the level, so it's pretty easy to charge most things. But some enemies get tougher later on, they get, they get smaller. Okay, there we go, grab some of that stuff. Move back this way, because I definitely missed a thing or two. Like, is there anything behind all of this? You bet there is. Oh, another extra life, awesome. Got 24 lives now. We're doing pretty gosh darn good with that. I got this stuff I can torch up. Good stuff, good stuff. Grab this chest, and I think that's about it. Oh, there's other extra life over here. Wow, okay. Lives have actually been turning out pretty well, 25 in total. I mean, definitely the addition of the blue butterflies helps with that a lot, but I also feel like we're playing well. Well, let's go ahead and save another dragon. This might be our 50th one. It's Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. I mean, they, they've already attacked us. I don't know why Spyro is so confused. That was actually our 51st, 51st dragon. I missed the 50, 50th one. I can't pronounce anything. Oh, this is where this level gets tough. I'm gonna head over this way first, because there's some, whoa, whoa, you guys just weren't there before. That was weird. <laughs> okay, well, I guess no game is without its its weird problems, but hey, we solved it by beating them all up. Now they're not here for real. Where am I supposed to go? I think back onto this log, back onto this one, and then this is where this level gets real tough. I remember that, that like there's sort of two branching paths here. Let's go to the one to the left. The one to the left is the difficult one because there's a sort of this super, dang it, crowded room. Hey, 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 rude, get out of here with that. Cage free, yeah, definitely, no cages, I don't like that. Is there anything over this way? It's a weird thing, but I don't really what I mean. But yeah, there's so many enemies in this little room here, it gets so tough to deal with them. I think our best bet would actually be moving over this way and then charging all three of them. That was a good start. But this room is super tough, because there's like no real way to properly handle it, except for just trying your best. It's, it's definitely the frogs make it tough. I mean, I guess like dodging around like, oh, you dude, I'll deal with you soon enough, don't you worry. I wanted to deal with your frog friends first, but I guess I have no choice. Oh, but see, they, they spit out their tongues like that when you're trying to move as fast as you can. This is like one of the toughest little spots in the game just because it's just sort of jam-packed with little enemies. It's really tough not to die, or at least lose the majority of your health. Cause I went into that with only like two hits, so it wasn't easy to begin with. Now we gotta deal with it all again because they don't, you know. Oh, hey, get out of here. They all respawn, they don't stay down. So I wanna be as careful as I can, not to, come on, land in the water. Beat you up before you can hit me. Sorry, I know you're free, but I have to unfree you. I mean, I guess I wasn't unfreeing, I was just taking you out. Cause I need that extra health right now, I really do. Okay, so, charge, got all three of those guys. Luckily, we're getting some extra lives for it because we get orbs for every enemy we defeat. Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, dudes, get out of here right now. That's it, I'm done, I'm done with you. Got him, and then charge these two. Come on, I can't even see who's attacking me. It's so ridiculous. Boom, got him, that is so difficult, it's crazy. 
All right, well, luckily we do get a dragon out of it, which is really nice. Who is it? It's Damon. I swear we just got a Damon. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why, I remember. Uh, uh gotta go. <laughs> See ya. Some of them fly away, some of them just don't. It's interesting. But, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know, like, they always word it as if they've been crystallized for a long time, but I felt like it was just the beginning of the game. I mean, I guess it, they're just exaggerating is all, but it is weird. Anyways, let's go ahead and glide on over this way. And now we have that whole other path, which I believe is a whole lot easier comparatively, so we should be fine. That's a short path, but a difficult one. All this other stuff, it's a little bit longer, but a bit easier, so we'll be able to make things work. I'm gonna go ahead and boom, charge you. And there we go. Pretty good stuff so far. I wanna go ahead and grab this as well. Oh, there's some stuff on top of the trees. And the fairy helps us, I was like, hey, go down this way. Will do, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I'm surrounded. They are ready for me. This was a trap. <laughs> Maybe the fairies aren't on our side. Ow, that was rude. Oh, are we dead? No, oh, did he eat us? We were in his mouth, ew, gross. Oh, and there's some stuff behind us too. Good, I checked. Okay, got it. So I don't have a Sparks right now, so I don't even know if there's any extra gems nearby that I might be missing, but I'll just have to use my eyeballs, not that big of a deal. And we got another dragon. There's been less and less dragons per level with Zeke now. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. I don't know what was going on with your little, <laughs> I love this little fly there, but I don't know what was going on with his little poses. Okay, whoa. Whoa, the boar charged the dude. Where's the dude at? Is he, he's, he's done. Wow, that was weird. Like There's like seven different things happened at once there. So we could definitely get taken out here if I'm not careful. Whoa, like that. Leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> Come on, you big boys, get out of here. Jeez, how many gems are we, we're looking for 500 gems as well. There are still a couple of secrets we have yet to find. Where is he, where is he? I'm charging him, I'm charging him, I'm out, no, come on, I couldn't see him. <laughs> that was so baloney. Try that again. Oh man, I, I'm not the biggest fan of there being a loading screen every time you die, especially for these more difficult levels. Definitely sort of bites into the time playing, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Okay, Ooh, come on, that was baloney. Before I even got started, I'm getting taken out. Definitely gotta pick up these orbs because I wanna be able to get my life back. Get you before you get me. Charge into as many dudes as possible. Got him. I know this guy's gonna be, oh, he's right behind me. Oh no, I don't like it. Get this guy again, boom. <laughs> okay, are they right behind me still? They're not, they're looking around for me. They're like, ready to go, I'm gonna get him. Got him, and his friend too. Jeez, teamed up on me like that, how rude. Okay, so we're doing all right so far. I mean, I died quite a lot, but it's to be expected with levels like these. So I can hop on these walls, but I think the wall I really wanna hop on is none of these. Oh, there's one last dragon, that's good. So let's go ahead and talk to you. You are Bubba. Oh, I like that one. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro, stamp them out, and squish them and squash them. <laughs> uh, how about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. <laughs> all dragons found, awesome. Don't have to worry about that, that's pretty good. But yeah, we wanna stand, oh, I do need to remember that stuff. Let me get this now, so I don't have to worry about it later. Some stuff is hiding in this little corner. Because we still have quite a lot of gems to go, so where they may be is on top of here. We gotta make a tough glide over to here. Not the easiest one, I guess that wasn't too bad. Oh, oh almost overdid that one. And then on the top of this building, we got quite a lot of stuff, awesome. Got it but still not 500 gems worth, so I definitely missed something. Hmm, that concerns me. What could we have missed? Yeah, we're still missing like a good 60 something gems. Oh, there's, wait, am I, oh. Oh, look, there's, it says Nork up there. I don't remember this part. Huh, weird, let's go for it. Oh, these jumps get a bit challenging to make. Onto these guys, I think I might have missed one, but we gotta go back that way anyways. Whoa, okay, hold on, buddy. Yeah, try that again, boom, see what happens. And then what's up here, ooh, tons of stuff. Okay, so this is what I missed out on. Didn't, I don't remember this. Weird. 
anyways, get a couple of these. That's the yellow one, so there we go, all 500 of them. This might have been a mistake. 100% level complete, we made it! Oh, look at us go! Oh, that was so cool! <laughs> Return home. What a fun level. It is tough for sure, but it has its highlights for sure as well. All right, so that means we've done two levels. We should have one more normal level, a flight level, and the boss fight left to complete, and then we're good with the Beast Makers. I do actually like the continual pacing of the game. I, I swear that when I was younger, it made it, it made it seem like there were more levels in the later ones, but I guess there isn't. They're just longer and more difficult. But hey, that's fine with me. 100% complete. How did that guy already get taken out? Who knows? But boom, I wanna torch you. Move this way. I know this guy's gonna turn around on me. I'm gonna get him before then. And then the other level should be right over this way. This one's a tough one, of course. It is tree tops. There's, it's a really cool level though. Probably one of the most memorable in this game is tree tops because it has a lot of cool ideas going on with it. I think the ideas they use a little bit more in Spyro 2. I remember there, there were a couple levels I know of in Spyro 2 just because I think I had like a demo of it. I've seen, like I saw like friends play it, but I hadn't played it too much myself. I know it's, Starting with Spyro 2, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say open world, but like I know there's some things you can't get to right away. Like this game's very linear. You go from level to level, completing everything. But I think in Spyro 2, you get stuff that, oh, wow, he stole a gem. Get back here. Wait, we gotta get his friends first. But there's like other, like you have to backtrack with new abilities sometimes and get a little crazy. These monkeys look pretty cool. Where'd that guy go? I don't know, he ran off with our gem. Maybe never to be seen again. But you'll see why this level's pretty cool soon enough. Yeah, I won't go that way for now, maybe. Um, and this is one of those levels that, for people who are watching for the first time, you're probably gonna appreciate the map. Okay, so here's, that's a different one, that's a red dude. But he also has stuff. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I made it, cool. Uh, let's get rid of this guy and his friend. Oh, here's a key chest. Gotta keep that in mind. And let's get up here, I saw a dragon for a second. Yep, here he is. Hello, Mr. Dragon, how are you? It is Isaac. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Supercharge ramp, you say? I can't wait to get to that. So yeah, this level is majoritarily using the super ramp, or the supercharge ramp, and you can just jump, make some super far jumps. It's really cool and fun. Did I, oh, I was supposed to hit that. Oh, I'm so clumsy. Dang it, oh well, have to do that again then. <laughs> That's not good. But there's a couple of those. It doesn't make like a continuous loop, but there are some tricky jumps you'll have to make with it. It gets pretty fun, especially when we'll be chasing those little guys on the track, so that'll be cool. Go ahead and get rid of some of those guys. And let's go this way. Ooh, ready, super jump! So we can't quite get over there, as you can see. We weren't able to jump high enough. But that's fine for now. We'll find another way over there soon enough. Because I think the whole idea is that we need to earn up some extra speed and make like an even bigger jump because there's sort of like two stages to the super speed. But for now, that's everything we can do from this little return home area. If we want to do anything more, we'll have to turn around like we're doing right now. And I think there is other ways we can go. If we were to go back, yeah, we can glide across to this. So it gets a little confusing to traverse for sure. I think that's why a lot of people consider it to be one of the more difficult levels is it just, it can be straight up confusing if you don't know what you're doing through it. Luckily, I've gotten stuck on it many times in the past, so I sort of know my way around at least a little bit better this time. Got that guy. Now if they have levels like this in Spyro 2 and 3, I'm gonna be just as stuck as anybody else. Oh, nice, we got the key, that's good. The key wasn't too hard to get. And we have another whopping 500 gems to find. That's gonna take some time. Whoa, don't throw banana bushels at me. Donkey Kong would be furious at you. I mean, I guess he throws bananas too, but not commonly. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Got a couple of bad guys sort of hiding behind the stones here, so it can be tough to get them all. But you better bet I will. Got him, good. Whoa, hey, no, oh man. Whoa, whoa where am I? <laughs> that was scary, I thought I was gonna fall to my doom. Luckily, somehow I didn't, but still furious because he didn't have to do that. Hold on, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's get up like this, and where is he? Where is he? Boom, ow, that hurt. Let me get an extra life, because now I have no sparks to help me out. At this point, we're, we're reaching 30 lives, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so we have a couple of these we can just bust open, nice and normally, and then on this platform, we got ourselves another dragon. This is Lyle. Hello, Lyle. Greeting, Spyro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Huh. 
<laughs> so that's what he means there. If we land on two superchargers, it's supposed to give us a double speed, which means higher jumps, better gliding, etc., etc. And that's sort of where this game, or this level specifically, is really tough. You have to sort of chain up a couple of them in a weird way to really get to where you're going. Because there is a ramp down here, I'm sure you've noticed, it just sort of starts from nowhere there because we gotta land on it from somewhere else. So it gets a little wild, but we'll start working on that soon. For right now, we just gotta jump over to this one, and I'm gonna charge you. Whoa, no, no too much, no too much! Oh, come on. Well, darn it. I guess I wasn't too careful. I guess we'll, I guess thing, I think we'll just start right where we were anyways though, because we just got that dragon, so things should be okay. But I'm sure people are piecing together why this can be one of the more difficult levels, and we haven't even done the tough stuff yet. It really does get more difficult. Okay, gliding, gliding, and kapow! Yeah. Oh, he has little friends on this island as well? Get rid of him. Be gone. I did, I did hear more chickens jumping around, but I think we might have, oh no wait, one more. There he is, wait, I keep missing him. He's an excellent dodger. Got a couple more this way with this stuff. So we're at 244, so we're just now hitting the halfway point for gems, so lots more to do. Okay, I got some of that stuff. I'm gonna glide across to here, but I don't remember too much if this is helpful or not. Whoa, yeah, okay, there is stuff here. Ooh, I was supposed to hit that chest. Dang, another chest I missed then. Gotta keep that in mind. Another extra life as well. I think they know that you're gonna die a lot in this area just because this is sort of the way it thinks. Okay, so at this rate, we're gonna have to do a couple of things. I have to loop around a few more times to really get to everything we need to. It'll be a bit of hard work, but it'll be worth it. So let's fly back this way. There we go. So we probably don't wanna use this super booster just yet. I probably instead wanna, once again, go back this way. Loop back around. I mean, I could go like that, but that's not worth it. I think what's worth it now. Go back this way. I do want to explode that one chest that we can only explode by supercharging or by cannon or by firework. But this level will be by supercharging. Best way to do that is to go over this way and also take care of some of the chickens. Oh, we had the key as well. So this is sort of like a two for one. What do we get inside of here? A ton of gems. Nice. A couple of greens, yellow. Gets us over 300, which is pretty good. 305. Okay, so let's definitely get this checkpoint. I'm gonna charge through and jump and try to go right for this thing. Boom! Trophy earned launch date. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. And then we can get back to here and then loop around one more time. Lots of looping around. It's just sort of how you gotta do things, unfortunately. But it, it's also pretty fun. Once we get to some of the crazier stuff, which we're about to. Okay, there we go. And I think we just gotta get back this way. I don't exactly remember how to get to some of these other islands, like the specific pathways. I just know we have to chain up different things. So we'll try it, we'll see what happens. And hopefully everything turns out just fine. Okay, so let's go for it. I'm gonna run down this way. I think I want to jump and then land on this part, the part we keep on looping around with. And then with this, I'm going super fast, super crazy fast actually. I don't know where I'm going. I think that was correct, no that was wrong. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, you just move so fast, it's hard to really figure out where you're properly going, but hey, we got another blue butterfly. I think at some point I'm supposed to sort of kind of turn around, it's wild, it's so wild. <laughs> I might wanna try that again, I might wanna go to the other area instead, where the other dragon was. I feel like that might be a smarter one to do. Cause there's sort of two islands. You might see, I guess a good way to look is on the map, that far, far left island, that one's another real tough one to do. But I feel like there's you know, two ways to get to all of it. Like maybe it would be smarter to try that one now. We'll give it a shot, we'll see if that's any better. So I'm trying to take a look. Cause I think if I, if I, I mean the map does make it a little bit easier. Hmm. Okay. You basically have to do a full loop around. I, I think that I got it. I might not. We'll try it out, we'll see what ends up happening. I'm gonna supercharge like this. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna jump again, perfect. Jump again, but no, 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 that's not right. Dang, maybe, oh man, I just, and this isn't like something where I'm just having an issue with it. This is, most people have a problem with this part of the game. It's just really tough to figure it out. But I mean, I guess you could sort of kind of, like the problem is, I think you could in all technicality, 
No. I feel like you could do that in the original game. You could just charge and sort of do a loop around. But if you do that, you don't get enough speed to actually make it to the island. And this is why they gave you so many lives in this level, because you need them. <laughs> you really need them. Oh, I go this way. Okay, so at least I have figured out this, oh, come on. I didn't jump high enough, but that's it. That's how we do that one. It's tough, but it's doable. It's just such a pain too, you know? <laughs> oh man, so I, I know what to do with that one, to build up some major speed to get to it. It's just so difficult. So I'm gonna try that one more time. Might as well have you guys along with me because it's not that bad to get back there now. We're pretty used to it. Gotta just get back up here, run this way. It is just such a pain in the booty though, you know? Just like that. Get all across to here. But it's just still the question of how do I get to the other one? You know, the other one's still the tough one for the most part. Okay, got it. I wanna charge or gonna jump. Oh yeah, I'm gonna land over here. Almost forgot. Oh, come on! That was, ugh! It's so tough. Because if you glide, it does. It stops your boost. So you have to keep going. Oh, yes! Okay, so no gliding at all is necessary there. This guy's laughing at me. I'm gonna have the last laugh, that's for sure. Give me that purple gem, 25 of them. Beautiful. Okay, so we did it. We got up here, but this is only one half of the battle. We still have the other thing to figure out, which will be nice and dandy, won't it? Okay, so I think that's everything on this island, so we still have another 100 gems to get on the other one, so let's figure that out. Okay, so I think I may have figured this out after looking at it for long enough. I need to jump like this, go like this, jump over to this one, run over this way, jump this way, and oh, Okay, glide, 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 we're doing it, we're doing it! Get this guy, come on, ready? See ya! Wait, wait, where'd he go? He's over here. Yeah, he's the guy with the purple gem. The green guy we saw at the very beginning. Got him! All right, you are out of here. We also got this, excellent. And you! Green dragon, it's Jed! You were very far off, Jed. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. That's true, all dragons found. Thank goodness, we still have a couple more gems to pick up. Wait, this one right here? Wait, no, is that it? Uh-oh, I think we're missing one still. Where could it be? He says it's right here. No, it's, it's, it's this way? So we missed something over that way. Oh, great, don't tell me I missed a gem on the other island. And is that everything? I think so, like once we get that, I think we're good. Can't believe we missed something. <laughs> what did we miss, where did we miss it? Okay, help me out here, Sparks. I'm gonna land over this way, let's see which way he points. Cause I think it'll be on that island, and if so. Aye, 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 that'll be tough. Like way over that way, or what? It's saying, it's definitely, okay, yeah, it's definitely on that island. Oh, you know what, no it's not. Oh, I shouldn't have glid over here. Dang it, because now I gotta get all the way back up there, I know exactly what it is. Okay, so this should be pretty simple. If I remember it correctly, all I gotta do is charge, jump, and land right on it. Land on it, boom, there it is, 500 out of 500. That was difficult enough, I know, right? 100% level complete, thank goodness. Oh man, that was challenging, but I'm so glad we were able to get it done, which means we can move out of this level and move into our flying level that we've already passed in the overworld. We'll have to turn back around to go get it. And then we just had the boss fight to deal with. Then we should be good with Beast Makers. It was a lot of hard work, but it was, you know, w well worth the effort. I think, personally. Maybe you don't. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's get to it. 100% complete, I know, I know. So we need to turn around and go this way. And how many lives are we at now? 21. Oh, we lost a lot of lives in that level. That stinks. We're doing so well with earning them up, too. I mean, luckily, from here on out, we should be okay. I mean, there is still, I'm remembering now, there is still one more world after this, and then there should be the final world, so that'll be a whole bunch of stuff going on. But for right now, let's plop down this way and do our wild flight. Sounds like fun. So this is our fourth flight level. They've all been pretty challenging so far, so I don't think this one will be any less, but with the challenges we dealt, just dealt with, I think this will be just fine. <laughs> we'll just have to try our best, and hopefully everything turns out A-OK. -okay. Okie doke. Oh, this one's really colorful. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is super cool. Oh gosh, don't fall, don't fall. Don't like immediately fall off. Whoa, well that was sort of weird. How did I miss him there? I'm going to have to take some time to figure out 
Where the heck we're supposed to go? These guys are super close to the water, which is not easy to deal with. Where are we supposed to go? What's the best course of action? Because I think that I, I, I definitely have not taken it. Whoa, go up here. But man, this one is so cool and colorful, I love it. Okay, get that stuff. I'm gonna try to fly wide so I can turn back and get that guy and not hit the water. So far, so good. We've gotten all of the gates. I know that's not what they're called. There we go, got him. Okay, we're missing one water boat, dude. I have no clue where he is. We'll have to find him later. I'm gonna go get the treasure chests. Boom. Got it, because we're doing really well on time. Oh, and there's airplane dudes as well. I, um, unfortunately, I think we missed our chance for the one boat guy, so things might not turn out very well here. This is actually turning out okay so far. Okay, got it. This level is so cool, because it's so vibrant. Got him, got him, got him, got him. One more, two more, two more. Got him, and got him. So we got 20 something seconds to try to go back and find boat dude, because I don't think he's gonna be in the purpleness of this. Okay. I'm gonna try going down this way and hoping we can just run into them. Probably should've went the opposite direction because they usually go down this way. So like we'll be traveling with him. Oh, here he is, here he is, here he is! Boom, I can't believe I missed him. I also can't believe we were able to do it all still in one go like that. Usually, if you mess up at all, you're gonna run out of time. Awesome, so I could've gotten a way better time there, but I don't care. If I can get on the first try, that is amazing. So, we're gonna head back and I guess deal with the boss. That'll be pretty cool. Excited for it, 7,500 gems. So like, yeah, we broke 6,000, already at 7,500. It's just, that's how quick you would go through it in th these later worlds, so it'll be crazy. I mean, I think that the next world is more difficult for its consistent difficulty, but the difficulty spikes in this world are definitely a bit insane, especially with, you know, the treetops level. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, there's nothing, you know, worrying me all that much. There definitely are some, you know, more challenges ahead though. It's not just easy peasy from here on out. That is, okay, that's not even fair. That wasn't even fair at all. I didn't have a chance to defend myself. After I got hit by the first boar, it was done. Because I was trying to blast, it just wouldn't let me. So those guys are a bit ridiculous. I think there should be probably like a little bit of invincibility after you get hit so you're not instantly just taking damage again. That's just sort of kind of lame. But anyways, we figured it out. No, that was that was baloney as well. I, I pressed the button, there it is. Okay, back down to 20 lives. I mean, 20 lives isn't bad, it's just not as many as I want to have. So here we go, here's the last guy right here, he's Metalhead. Oh, let's get some of these guys too, let's get some health back, maybe even get an extra life out of it, or not, whatever. And let's try this out. I mean, the bosses haven't been so bad so far, so maybe this one will follow suit, confronting Metalhead. Now the interesting thing about the name Metalhead is it's also the name that Naughty Dog uses for some of their enemies in the Jack and Daxter series, which is just interesting because, uh. The lead developers of the original Spyro games, Insomniac, and the Crash Bandicoot series, Naughty Dog, were sort of closely related, and uh, I think they like shared the same office space when developing Crash and Spyro. Some interesting stuff going on with all that. Fun history. Hmm, just sort of taking a look. Looks very cool. But this is, oh, this is a tough level. Oh, I remember this one! Okay, took me a moment. I was like, I don't recognize it. But now I totally do. Okay, I was looking to see if maybe those guys he knocked away, did they drop gems? I suppose not. Okay. Well, if you're not gonna throw anything at me, I'm gonna go grab my own gems. That's for sure. How many do we have to get? 500, as per usual. Okay, I'm gonna I'll run, of course, run, of course, right into the bananas. Get out of here, monkey. You got a whole bunch of uh, metal protection on, so I can't flame you. But there is a lot of stuff we sort of have to revisit in a couple moments, just because we can't quite reach it from here. But there is definitely some trickiness to this level, you gotta be very careful with it. We'll do what we can to do all that. Try to get all the gems before we approach. Oh, and I remember this. Let's do this now. Down in this little ravine, there's a bit of a secret that can be hard to access. We just gotta go in here. Oh gosh. Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's scary. We did it though. Was there a fish jumping out of this water? I saw that, but I don't know. I suppose not. But it's definitely worth doing. We get an extra life out of it over here. Back up to 21 lives. I have no health right now, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. I think there's even a key to find somewhere around this way. I'll be trying to look for tons of gems out. Oh yeah, there's the key, so we'll tackle that in just a moment. Just also have to grab this stuff. It's a cool little secret though. It's one of my favorite secrets in the game just because it's so sort of off to the side. But man, was it tough to find when I was younger. I looked everywhere, just didn't notice it. That's why I wanted to tackle it now before I forgot. 
There we go. And we have to leave the same way we came in. Oh no, no we don't, no we don't, thank goodness. I was gonna say that's gonna be really bad for me. We get to go way up here. Nice, so this is how you get some of this stuff, I forgot that. So we're gonna get this. Did I miss a gem? You bet I did. And then I think I can make this jump. Oh, I sure hope I can. Yeah, another extra life. Get a blue gem ready. Nice and good. Hmm. So I think we're gonna move this way. But yeah, it, it's really hard to notice that that's something you can get to, excuse me, was I really close enough for you to do that? I suppose so. Wow. <laughs> that was silly. I haven't even run into a dragon yet, so no checkpoint for me. Okay. So. Oh boy. So many enemies, so many enemies. Oh, and they're so tough too. Enemies just really get tough in this game. I wanna deal with you now, ready? Blast ya, good. I see you as well, get you. I know you're throwing your bananas at me before I can even react to it, but I somehow still did. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Not happening this time, buddy. Oh, get that stuff while it's exploding. I'm gonna deal with you and you. Haha, <laughs> okay, things are working out a tad bit better. Let's grab all that. We should be good, we're back up to full health. Sparks is looking good and golden. Nice, okay, so. Let's move this way. I don't see too much going on over with this. But I do see these guys. Whoa, where did that gem come from? I have no clue, that's a little concerning. I know that these guys, are they gonna throw stuff at me soon or what? I guess not. Oh, two for one, nice. There's lots of stuff. Oh, you're gonna throw your bananas. I don't appreciate it, so you're gone. So I think we've actually gotten everything from up here, so we don't have to revisit this at all, which is nice. Usually I have to because I miss the, the, the thing in the ravine. But not this time, we're good, we're good. So we can head down this way where we have a dragon. Probably the one and only for this level, it is Sadiki. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Let's hope so. I mean, it's called the power pole. Oh, I do remember this. Do I have to charge them? No, so I think when they're green, I have to charge them, but if they're red, they're electrocuted. Oh man, he looks so cool though. I mean, he just looks like a robot. You don't really get to see there's a guy hanging out up there. Oh, he throws the guy. Get the guy out of here, thank you. <laughs> That's crazy, so let's just keep going. I'm gonna charge, ow, this one. At least I tried to. Got it, okay, there we go. So I guess all the enemies have to just turn to gems. All right, let's pick up whatever we might have missed. Pretty good, pretty good. I love this boss though, it's, a, it's very interesting and it's so colorful here. It wasn't as colorful originally, but I do appreciate the changes. Okay, so let's get up this way. Got some blues and some yellows. And there should be, yep, one last blue one up this way. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that. I feel like I missed one. I'm gonna double check. I guess not, okay, cool. Oh yeah, where do I cash in the key? I guess we haven't found that yet. Oh, is that up there? I think it's up there. Okay, so we'll leave that for in a moment. I think I want to attack all this first so I don't get like accidentally hit by anything. Whoa, I saw that giant beam. I'm trying to dodge things while I can. Okay, no, 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 no. It sort of warns you before it goes full red. Oh, did I break all of them? I thought I missed one. Oh, and he's down for the count. Awesome, see ya. That was really cool. So we'll grab all of this stuff and we will turn back because there was definitely something up that way, but oh wait, got it. There was definitely something up this way to the side. We don't wanna miss it. Luckily, some of the secrets are a bit easier to find just because, you know, with how the simple the graphics were before, it was just easy for the stuff to sort of mix in with everything in the background, the walls and everything. Now that's not as much the case. So how many gems will we get out of this? A fair chunk, a couple of blues, a couple of greens. More importantly, we're just making progress. We're at 407 so far, and I think there's still a couple more gems we can get once we go back down this way. So I don't know if this is like Metalhead's laboratory, his house. Here's the return home. I'll grab a couple of these. And let's see how we're doing as we get up here. I remember this jump, there's a little jump here that's a little bit tough. Yeah, right over to that side. I'll do it in just a second. What is with this stuff? I guess there's a gem there. For all the enemies waiting to be thrown by Metalhead. And two more chests. There's lots of stuff chilling out over here. So that's 495, we're looking for five more. Which I guess are 
all right over here. Yeah, you're just supposed to make that jump. For whatever reason, it can be a bit of a tough one, but 500 out of 500, gems in the rough. We got that one done. Very nice, let's return home. That was pretty cool. So, how many are we at now? 8,000 gems in total. So we have completed the Beast Maker's Overworld and all the levels within it, defeating Metalhead. Next episode, we'll be moving on to a new area, wherever that might be. I don't know what's, what's Spyro here. So I have like an orangish tint to him. I think he still looks pretty cool. Yeah, that was a ton of fun. I can't wait to check out the next area, even though I know for a fact it will be quite difficult. It'll be well worth the fun. So yeah, next episode, new area. Getting farther and farther along with the game, we have ourselves 70% through the game. How exciting. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Gems so you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.